So here we are. It's me and Grace. Mommy is over there. We're at Country Files Live, aren't we, Grace? Yeah. We've had lunch and look. Tractors. Me and Grace are gonna go and find the tractors. Are you having fun, Grace? Yeah. We need to find the animals. Animals. We're on the hunt for the animals, but at the moment we're looking at tractors. We've got big ones and then old ones. Old, old ones. And combine harvesters. See you later. Bye. So it's Saturday night, a week later after BBC Country Files. I'm here in my shed. Uh, everyone's in bed, and uh, this is what you do on a Saturday night, isn't it? Rock and roll, isn't it? Uh, in the shed, record a vlog, cup of tea. Well, in fact, it's finished. So I'm due for another cup of tea. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick update and a roundup of BBC Country Files live uh, that we went to last Sunday. So. Uh, Vlog-wise, uh, I didn't record that much, to be honest. Uh, it was quite hard because having the kids and, and the wife with us, so I um, wanted to see loads of stuff. But basically, uh, it wasn't a bad journey. Heard loads of horror stories uh, in the press from the opening day on the Friday. Uh, it took, like, um, people two hours just to park, so I was like, ooh, a bit worried about that because I took the whole gang. But for us, uh, leaving... West London to uh, Oxfordshire to park the car. It was an hour and 10 minutes, door to door. It was awesome, can't fault that. That was, that was really cool. Uh, journey home, another story, four hours. Yep, getting out of the car park was a bit of a nightmare, but hey, that wasn't, that wasn't a stress, but every road we came back on, M40, A40, side roads, da -da 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 -da. chock a block, absolutely chock a block. So uh, we took a detour and went to my mum's, had dinner there, but yeah, all in all, it took us four hours to get back. So I think that should have only taken an hour and 10 minutes. Four hours, hey, but never mind, hey. So uh, let's talk about the show itself. So we arrived there, overwhelmed uh, by mountain people. Uh, we got there at lunchtime. Uh, if you've got young kids, you'll know. <laughs> you can never go anywhere on time, can you, you know? So, hey ho. Um, I took Grace, three, three years old, and Thomas came along, who's uh, three months, so. Uh, a bit stressful trying to get everyone together, but we got there, we got there. We got there on lunchtime. First thing we did, uh, <laughs> my wife had to breastfeed Thomas. Uh, so we took the picnic and we had a uh, picnic lunch while we were there. Headed into the arena. And uh, as you can see from the videos, we went to the tractors. That was really cool. 
uh, went to the Woodland Trust, uh, the bug house, build a bug house and invite people for tea. Uh, then we went around to the lake and we had to breastfeed Thomas again. I didn't. My wife had to breastfeed Thomas, naturally. Don't ask questions. Um, and then we went to um, the co-op Village Green and had some nice ice cream there and Grace went on the trampoline and, and climbing frames, a whole other stuff. And then we went to the Vintage Fun Fair. Wow, that was awesome. As you can see by the videos, Grace had a fantastic time. First time on the carousels, the horses that go up and down and the swings that go round and round and round. She was, Daddy, I wanna go on that. I think you're a bit young, I think you will be scared. But she loved it, absolutely loved it. Saw some stalls, then that was it. The day was gone. So for us, we didn't get to see the livestock, which was one of the things I wanted to go and take Grace to see, was the, the livestock, the animals. But uh, having young kids, that's the big thing, isn't it? It changes your life and, you know, so when it was just me and my wife, we could just go there, potter around, leave whenever we want to, um, and just kind of go, yeah, enough's enough, let's go home or whatever, you know? And then we have kids, that's a game changer, isn't it? So <laughs> as much as you don't want to say it, they are in full control of your life. They, de they determine what time we leave home, when's lunch, da -da 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 -da. so um, it was a bit of a shame that we didn't see the whole show, um, but hey, these things happen, and that's part of having a family, isn't it, you know? Um, I thought, just looking over the whole picture of Country Files, it was awesome. In Blenheim Palace, what a, what a way to start. First ever Country Life show, and it was in, Blenheim, in, in the grounds of Blenheim Palace. Not the actual palace, <laughs> just in the grounds. Uh, that was cool. I have just noticed in my shed over there, there is a massive spider web. Hmm. wonder what spider that is. And I'm in my shed, and it's dark. With just one light. I'm worried now. Anyway, back to Country File Live. It was massive. It was huge. So it was a shame that the ticket is only valid for one day. Uh, what would have been cool is maybe incorporate in a whole whole weekend, you know, come back the next day or something. That would have been quite cool because there's so much to see. Um, and little legs got tired quite easily. So uh, next year, if they could do it spread over, you know, your ticket's valid for the whole weekend or two days or something like that, that that's a really cool cool little idea i think that maybe bb country for bbc country files can't talk i was getting tired <laughs> um no but bbc country files live maybe they could consider that i don't know it's just an idea but all in all in general from what we saw amazing grace loved the tractors and the all the uh, running around she loved running around crazy and the vintage country fair boom that's what she really loved so uh, next time we're going to go to a farm so she can go and see the livestock. But my next vlog will be ooh, on holiday. That'd be quite cool. And then another vlog coming up. I can't wait for this. The 2nd, 3rd and 4th of September um, is a Scout Gilwell reunion. So it's the whole of um, Scout leaders get together in Gilwell Park in, in, in Essex uh, for a bit of teaching session, relaxation <clears throat> and a bit of drinking. Hmm, but don't tell anyone. Uh, I will be there with the Bush Scout group. So uh, if you're a Scout leader, head down to the Gilwell reunion. If you're not a Scout leader, stay tuned to the vlog. You're, you're gonna love it. I'll show you a bit more about camping things. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed my vlog on BBC Country Files Live and a comment, subscribe, send me an email. I'd love to stay in touch and also follow me on Instagram. Until next time, guys, take care and just go camping. Laters. <laughs>